Hello and welcome to a new episode of Learning with Marcus. In this episode, I'm going to be explaining Mandarin. Mandarin is a form of a Chinese. Now, there are many different dialects of Chinese. I have a list right here of all of the uh, all of the dialects and they are classified so I'll say the classification and then the languages that are classified under that one name so there are Gan which is Jin Xingnese, Guan which is Mandarin or Bei Feng Hua, Kujia which is Hakka, Ming which is Hokkien and Taiwanese Wu which includes Shanghainese Xiang, which is Hunanese, and Yue, which is Cantonese and Tai Chinese. Now Mandarin, as I just said, is in the Huan classification. Now Mandarin is spoken across China and spoken by over a billion people. So if you're learning Mandarin, it's very likely that you will find someone who speaks Mandarin as a first language or somebody who's learning it as a second language. So this is such a useful language to learn. Now let's go over the different pronunciations in Mandarin. In Mandarin, they have five tones. And Mandarin is one of only a few languages in the Far East Asia that has tones. And tones basically means that if you have a word which is jia, if you say it with a higher tone, you could mean one thing, but if you say jia, you could mean a completely different thing. So when you're learning Mandarin, a word of advice is to really master pronunciation. If you don't know how to pronounce, pronunciate a word, try to find a pronunciation key so that you can get it just right because pronunciation is huge in Mandarin. Also in Mandarin, there are no conjugations. So basically, when you are creating a sentence, you just pile on verbs to get your point across. In English, we would say a sentence like this. For breakfast, we had milk and bread. But if you would say this in Mandarin, you would literally say, for breakfast, I ate, I drank milk and ate bread. So that is something that's pretty easy in Mandarin, that there are no conjugations. Now something that is not too easy, which is probably the most difficult thing in any language, in my opinion, are the characters. Now, at first I thought there were only 5,000 characters, which is a crazy amount of characters. But then I read that there are over 20,000 characters, which is insane. Now you only need, only need to learn about 2,000 to 5,000 to read a newspaper. But still, if you put that into context, the English alphabet only has 26 letters. And the Arabic alphabet, when you include all the variations of their letters, has over 100. So you're talking thousands more than what we're accustomed to. And finally, one thing that many people think about Mandarin, which is not true, is that it's sounds or looks the same as Japanese and Korean. Now Japanese does share some characters with Mandarin. And if you like this video, I will do a Japanese explained video so that you know why this is the case. And Korean has this completely different set of letters. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I hope you like this. And like I said earlier, I'm going to be doing a Japanese explained video. So like this video and comment down below if you want to see that. Also, in the near future, I'm going to be doing a Q&A for language related. So if you guys have any questions for me based on my language learning or advice for learning a new language, please comment down below or go over to my Instagram. In the next day or two, I will be posting a photo that will ask you for questions, so please wait for that. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, favorite, share, and please definitely subscribe. Okay, until next time, I'm Marcus from Learning with Marcus.